welcome to my youtube channel so basically we are going to see all about uh, num number systems uh, for cat purpose or uh, railways or for any other exam purpose so basically number system are of basis parts are divided into different types like uh, basic properties of number system dividibility rule unit digit fractional and number of zeros hcf and lcm and reminder theorem number of factors miscellaneous concepts so in number systems uh, basically you will see all these basic parts of number system and uh, we will solve different types of numericals also that what particular types of numerical come for comes for your cat exam or for your railways or for any other government exams we will see it so basically number system uh, comes in max part max part or or any any calculation so let's go to Uh, the number system. So as here is then seen that a number system are of different part basic properties of number system. So we will go in this we will go in this manner and we will solve all the examples related to number system. So let first see that what number system exactly is. So number system are are divided into particular types like uh, uh, number system are divided into two types like let's see like real number uh, wait i'll change that uh, yes real number and complex number so in real number in real number you can see rational 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 number and irrational rational number irrational number in rational number it is divided into two types fractional and integer in fractional it can be terminating or non terminating and repeating or non repeating and in integer it is divided into three types negative integer zero and positive integer here negative integers are basically odd and even number and zero is basically zero and positive integers are odd and even but in odd there are two type composite and prime in even type there are composite as well as prime but here even here even is given as uh, which can be only divided by 2 means 4 uh, 2 it is the even number 2 is the even number so now uh, first of all uh, we will today so we see that basically so uh, now we will see that basic properties of number system starting with the complex number we will first start the complex number what complex number are and how to solve how to solve the complex number we will see in today's lecture so basically we will see the how to solve the complex number in today's lecture and now starting with the complex number basically when we see that root minus 1 is known as iota or i so here when i equals to root of minus 1 and i square will be what i square will be root minus 1 and root minus 1 will be minus 1 as we all know that i square equals to minus 1 and where i is iota so now when we will see now we will see that what i cube will be i cube equals to i into i square or you can say that i into i into i so basically i into i square so we are seeing that i square is equal to minus 1 so i Minus one into minus one. So what we will get that minus i. Therefore, uh, i cube equals to minus i. I equal i equals to root minus one. I square equals to minus one, and i cube equals to minus i. Now we will see that what i raised to four will be. So i raised to four four will be i square the whole square. Equals to so i square we got at minus i from here we can see that i square equals to minus i and the whole square 
means it will be 1 so so uh, from i raised to 4 we get that uh, i raised to 4 is equals to 1 so we should remember this table that exactly how the iota value are like i equals to root minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 i cube equals to minus i and i4 equals to 1 so now basically what complex number are that complex number are that complex the complex number are basically like a plus ib but here where a and ib are the real and imaginary part imaginary part means uh, a equals to real part and b equals to complex number or complex part uh, where it can be also denoted by re equals to z equals to a real part and i m z equals to b imaginary part imaginary part so basically basically complex number are just comparing uh, left hand side and right hand side means comparison of comparison of lhs equals to rhs is complex number means uh, let's uh, see one example like I will erase this. Z one equals to Z two, or not equal. Means like Z one equals to A one plus B one and I. Uh, wait, I will do in this manner. I equals to is z1 value and z2 equals to a2 plus i b2 is z2 value so now here uh, we we know that we have to compare z1 equals to z2 but here real part is uh, compared and imaginary part is compared uh, so z one equals to z two will be uh, like this. Uh, here we got that. Here we got that z one and z two value. Z one equals to z two. So a one plus i b one equals to a two plus i b two. Uh, so a1 plus b1 i equals to a2 plus b2 i so a1 equals to a2 and b1 equals to b2 so here it is the a1 equals to a2 is real part and b1 equals to b2 equals uh, b2 is uh, imaginary part so it's just the comparison between lhs and rhs or it is a comparison between uh, real and imaginary parts conjugate complex number basically conjugate can be denoted at z1 dash or z1 bar is conjugate number uh, so here let uh, 
let us take that z1 equals to a plus ib so the conjugate so the conjugate of z1 will be a minus ib conjugate of z1 will be a minus ib so conjugate is equal to if minus sign is there is negative sign is there we have to make it as positive sign so conjugate is nothing but con converting negative to positive conjugate conjugate uh, now uh, let's see one example like z1 uh, let's see one example like this z1 z1 conjugate equals to what will be the answer so let's find that z1 z1 bar equals to uh, from here we can see that z1 z z1 equals to a plus ib and z1 conjugate equals to a minus ib so just put the values in z1 and z1 bar we will get that a plus ib and my uh, into a minus ib so from here we can say that a square plus b square therefore z1 z1 bar equals to a square plus b square so modules of complex number are like z equals to a plus ib and mod of z equals to root of a square plus b square basically this is the simplest uh, question which come which does not come in cat exam but it can come in other government or railways exams so for cat exam this is not important now let's see some now let's see some examples basic example that how to solve the complex number now see how to solve the complex number examples uh, so let's see the first example we have to find the value of i247 we have to find the value of i247 but uh, first we have to uh, we have to rec uh, recollect the we have to recollect the values of i i square i cube and i4 so i will write this here so that you will be comfortable with the values so i equals to root of minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 and i cube equals to minus i where i4 equals to 1 so all of you should remember this all of you should remember this table it is important where i equals to root minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 i cube equals to minus i and i4 equals to 1 so now we will find the value of i247 i raised to uh, 247 so let's see that how to find the values of i247 so i247 can be written as i 4 cross 61 plus 3 means we know that uh, we know that i raised to 4 equals to 1 so means i raised to 4 equals to 1 which means the value will be equal as 1 value will come as 1 means there will be no negative sign or there will be no values of imaginary parts like i or minus i so first we will take this uh, then we will multiply it with 61 and then we will add with 3 then what we will get that the answer will be like i4 raised to 61 cross i raised to 3 so that i can come in uh, imaginary part so we know that i cube equals to minus i so and i4 is equals to 1 so means this value will be 1 raised to 61 1 raised to 61 and multiply with 
i raised to 3 we know that it is minus i so it will be minus i so the value will be 1 cross minus i so the whole answer will be minus i so the value of i 247 is minus i so this is the answer of i 247 is minus i now let's see the second example like uh, i 39 plus 1 upon i 69 what will be the answer so let first take that i 39 plus 1 upon i 69 as uh, i cube plus 1 upon i let first take this i have taken it by just uh, we know that here i raised to 4 equals to 1 so just divide it by 39 divided by 4 and 69 divided by this 69 divided by 4 so we will get that i3 and 69 divided by 4 we will get as i so here uh, let's multiply it with i so that we will get the answer i cube plus i upon i square and here we will uh, get like minus i plus i square upon not i square sorry i upon i square so we will get that minus i minus i we will get the answer as minus 2 i therefore the answer of i raised to 39 plus 1 upon i raised to 69 is is minus 2 i so let's see the next example so let's see the third example like 1 plus i square plus i raised to 4 plus i raised to 6 plus i 2 raised to n we have to find this answer so basically uh, how should we solve it so when we will solve this we know that 1 equals to 1 plus we know the value of, of i square is minus 1 so minus 1 value of i square plus value of 1 raised to 4 is equals to 1 so 1 and when we will sort that i raised to 6 how to solve that i raised to 6 we will see now and plus i raised to 2n so we know that 1 plus minus is minus 1 plus 1 and when we will solve the i raised to 6 value let's solve the i raised to 6 value so when we will solve this i raised to 6 value we can do it like i raised to 3 into i raised to 3 equals uh, equals to we know that i raised to 3 is minus i so minus i into minus i so minus i into minus i will be minus 1 so we can write that 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and this continues till i2 raised to 1 so now what is i2 raised to 1 so it can be denoted as minus 1 plus 1 so here it will come as 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and continues with minus 1 plus 1 so we can see that it is getting cancelled or it is coming 0 so the answer is 0 so the value of 1 plus i square plus i raised to 4 plus i raised to 6 dot dot i raised to 2n is answer is 0 so this question answer is 0 so let's solve the next question question 4 is we have to find the value of i x y 1 1 by 3 uh, equals to a plus i b and we have to find x by a plus y by b so basically the simple question first what we have to do that we will take uh, x plus y 
i raised to 1 by 3 equals to a plus i b we have this question we will just uh, multiply or we will take it as x plus i y equals to a plus i b raised to q so we will we had got that x plus i y equals to a plus i b the whole cube now just uh, solve the values of raised to cube so we can find that we can do in this manner uh, so we know that a plus b the whole cube is like this uh, a cube plus i cube b cube plus 3 a i b a plus i b so here uh, we get that a cube minus i b cube plus 3 a square i b plus 3 a i square b and then a cube minus i b cube plus 3 a square b i minus 3 a b so here we will uh, take these two numbers like as a cube minus 3 a b square and we will take these two numbers as imaginary part 3 a square b minus b cube so we will get the answer in uh, in this manner this is the real part i will write it in green color minus 3 a b square uh, plus and this is the imaginary part i 3 a square b minus b q so it is real part and this is imaginary part it is real part and this is imaginary part so this uh, so from the starting i was telling like complex number is just comparing just comparing both of the values so now we will compare and we will see that ex uh, we will compare and we will see that exactly how the answer will come like uh, uh, we know that here we have to find x by a and y by b so we can see that x equals to a cube minus 3 a b square from here and y equals to uh, 3 a square b minus b cube from here so x and y so let take x by a as a square minus 3 b square means we will divide x uh, we will divide a here and we will get the value of x by a equals to a square minus 3 b square and from the same way we will also divide y by a as 3 a b minus b uh, now we have to find y by b so here y by b will be as uh, 3a square minus b square so this will be the answer of x by a and y by b so here x by a plus y by b will come as a square minus 3b square plus 3a square minus b square this one.